All right, guys, today we're going to be playing the Crit Riven build in the final patch of Season 11. So I'm going to showcase you guys like how strong that is. It's actually kind of like a forgotten build right now. So I'm kind of impressed with it because it's actually really, really strong. I've been playing a lot with the Crit Riven build. Haven't seen that many people just doing it. So for the Crit Riven to make it work very well, we have the Conquer page and we are also running the Transcendence and we have the uh, Gathering Storm. We also have like a long sword with three, uh, with three pots. So we can play like super aggressive against this guy. Oh, is this guy okay? I'm about to kill. I'm about to cheese him. Good. So for the crit riven build, we are going to be running the uh, the Ascense Reaver, and we'll be going like Lord Dominix, and we'll mix it up with like an Infinity Edge at some point. But we're gonna see if we if we can like fully maximize it. Also. Um, we could, in theory, just rush a Sense Reaver, like, first item. Personally thinking about doing that. Usually I like to go with, like, Gore Trinker right off the start. Um, usually that's what I do. But, uh, we can, like, experiment around a little bit and just rush it, like, immediately. You know, seeing what it's like. Ooh, that actually landed in the end. He's gonna kill me here. Okay, I got you. You saw, like, the trick there? So, in the back of my head, I knew that Fiora used her parry. And um, when she queued, um, all I had to do was W her, walk backwards, and then kite back forth. And we just get, like, an easy catch like that. I think we can probably kill him again. She will fall for it eventually. Will be the first to fall. Okay, that's all yours. We could probably die from. Hmm. Okay, we're not diving. Like, it took uh, a little bit too long to do it, unfortunately. I also do not recommend it to do that. I just recommend it to go back. Don't take the risk. All right, awesome. So let's go back here. The first side we're going to buy is going to be the Warhammer. And I will also mix it up with like a Dorn's Blade in between as well. Fortunately, we're not having a pot, but like whatever, man. It's okay. Let's make our way back. So what I do, what I can definitely tell you for sure, if you're going for the Crit Riven build and you are thinking about rushing the Ascense Reaver, um, this will be my very first experience actually rushing it. But um, I just want to mention this. Do not go for Sheen first item. Okay. Life lesson. Go for Warhammer because it's just better. I know that without having to test it. You know, Warhammer rush is always better. And if you can't mix up like a Dorn's Blade in between, I would definitely uh, recommend you to do that. Okay, let's see if we can turn this around. She will probably use her Q right away. Nice. So whenever she tries to go for a CS, we just basically drop down my W. Uh, oh, not, not that one. I got you. So you can kind of see like what the trick is all about, right? So she uses parry. And you're crazy. What? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, Fiora, I think you should better like report the fall of your afterwards because what I saw there was uh, insane. Like, I could easily just EW him and just walk away like that. He even put his thing down here. Wow, I'm really impressed with like as that he the fact that he actually took that. I gotta process that for a second. So I knew what he was trying to do, but like even if I ran down this way and I got caught by the Q from Volibear, he would still die to the to the tower anyways, because he would still have to like auto me and then kill me and then run away. So it would never work at the end. Like 
even if I ran this way. Like, even if I died to it, I would still survive. This world balances on the I'm just thinking, like, what would happen if I walked down that way? But, um... He would not... It would never kill me, then. He's gonna stun. Um, he's gonna parry when I when I try to move up to this one. Yeah, he, I think he's gonna learn my trading pattern now. He shouldn't be doing that too much. <laughs> yeah, I think if I do that again, he's gonna. He will Q here. Nice try. We've got my Warhammer and my Sheen now, so this is where the excitement part comes in. Good. Okay. Um, one advice I can give for those people. Um, if you're scared about the parry, um, just so you know, you can dodge a parry even if you land the stun in the middle. Um, just by walking around. Just so you guys know. Oh! <laughs> I'm trolling today. <laughs> I'm actually trolling today. I, I'm seriously trolling today. <laughs> I got the assist, okay. Today's the day that I'm just trolling with my autos. Ah, uh, this this guy's taking my whole... Ah, seriously? I don't like it when Jonas are doing that, to be honest. Like, I've managed to get a kill on Fiora, or well, she, she got a kill. But she, you know what she did? I certainly do not mind when jungler's are helping me out trying to get a wave. Definitely not. But if you are farming this right here, but I'm standing here, I don't get XP anymore. Like Vi pretty much takes the whole wave of XP and that's huge. Especially if you're like snowballing. You just took like a whole wave like that. Like it's just six CS that I don't get in terms of XP. That's that's a lot of XP right there. I don't like it when genres are doing that. I don't like it when they are literally like taking a whole wave without even thinking about the XP, you know? Like at least just push it towards me and then just like take it afterwards, right? That would be like a lot better for me. I'd be, I'd be level nine right now if, if I hit the wave myself actually. Pretty, uh, pretty troll. I would have been able to dive him right now if it was level nine. He is his own master. But also so we can kill him. So we're just gonna like mix up like a bunch of like autos uh, on him without getting like caught by the stun. Yep, this guy's dead. He can't play lane anymore. I can literally just dive in like on our tower um, without issues. No. And now he's spawning the hero. Ah. Oh, okay. Just... Like this. Um, the, the hero could have been spawned mid lane. I just want to mention that real quick. I could have taken like solo plates. <laughs> All right. I could have uh, pretty much taken like free solo plates. You know, I, I would have had like all the gold for myself. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't hit. I got you. Let's take another tower at least. We can make some good use of it. Awesome. Let's get ourselves back here. So, Essence Reaver seems pretty interesting so far. Let's go for Lucidity. So, the next item we go for right now is probably going to be... Uh, personally thinking about going for Define. Um, wait, actually, no define. It doesn't stack. Wait, uh, I'm trolling. Uh, never mind. Change of plans. There we go. 
Awesome. Let's go back to the top side. Um, quick questions. Who is your favorite top laner? Um, there are three champions that I enjoy. Or well, four champions right now. Um, there's obviously Riffin, which is my main. I play her every single time in ranked. Um, Kale is my second. If Riffin is banned, I always pick Kale. Um, if both are banned, I pick Camille. And a champion that I would love to learn right now, or well, I've been getting into recently, is Rengar. Um, Rengar and Aurelia are the ones that I really enjoy. Let's go back to upside. <clears throat> See if we can kill this uh, Fiora again. This time she's dead. She can survive this one. Thank you. She is so easy to kill, man. I'm I do so much damage with my crits already. <laughs> awesome. Let's get some camps. Very good. Hello there. Well, I can't... Wait, I was I was thinking, is that like Alistar or is that Volubear? I couldn't see the difference anymore. For a second, I thought this was Alistar, but they their skin is... The skin looks so much like Alistar now. Okay, next on we have the Lord Dominix. So you can kind of already have like the idea of like what this build is all about. You guys say, oh yeah, thanks to these if it's a hey, no problem, man. No problem. Nice. Actually, not nice. <laughs> Yo, this uh, Volibear has got some diving issues for sure. <laughs> he just keeps on like diving under tower. He just runs it down straight up into the tower. I don't know how you can possibly think that's gonna work, man. He takes like engaging under towers like quite literally. Uh, let's go back top lane. Hey, that's a ward. Alright, let's go back to Falbing. Once again, doing the same stuff again. There's two people in mid. Actually, I think that the whole team is actually in mid. I'm just gonna hard push this one. Like, one more. Yeah, they're grouping around Drake right now to try and secure it. I could probably die here like on our tower anyways. I'm gonna try it out. Yep. So like I said, you can just throw you into a Fiora, and even if the parry lands, you can still sidestep it by shielding out or by walking out. And this is something that so many people don't know about the Fiora matchup. <coughs> don't forget that guys. Parry is dodgeable. You can literally just dodge it, even if it lands, so... Oh! No. Seriously? It land? I thought it would never land. Oh, we got you. Nice one. I like this Ash. Battle is my destiny. A great tip you never do that. Yeah, I know, man. I oh man. You have no idea. I've been coaching so many people, guys. I've been coaching um a lot of Rippin' mains. And seriously, every single time I, I, I see like the Riven versus Fear matchup. 
no one knows that that the parry is dodgeable. It's um, pretty crazy. Like uh, every single time I explain that it's dodgeable, um, people immediately change their their you know their their laning phase, and it be it it's only like runs a lot better, you know. There are options, you know. It's not you. You don't have to get caught into a parry even if you land on accident. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have to respect that a little bit. I'm uh, kind of afraid that uh, we can't stop that. They're all grouping mid lane, so. Nice crit. Awesome. Oh, two crits. Nice. Thank you. What a free game, don't you guys think? I'm having a good time. I'm having a really good time. <laughs> I certainly don't mind this. Nice ultimate. Cool. See you later. Uh, I do want to take the camp though before I go back, but uh, I gotta be careful here. All right, cool. Let's go back. <clears throat> We've got like three point eight k gold at the moment. Okay, let's go back. In the light. So, we got 4,000 gold to spend. So, uh, good luck to the enemy team now, because we're going to come back with, like, too many crits. <laughs> too many. We're going to dish out so much damage, man. This will be fun. So, this Fiora is currently 0-9. Let's see if we can make her 0-10. Watch. Right, you're dead. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> not getting the tower today. All right, let's get some more jungle camps. I'll see if I can kill them like under the in in inside the jungle, maybe. Some camps here. Apparently, Valerie has been taking them. That's a free kill. Hmm. We can go back, Pauline. We could probably kill Vayne, like on our tower, maybe. Well, the lining up goes pretty perfect. <laughs> Apparently, there's a massive team fight again. Wait, let me just take care of that one. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> like killing people with the last stick on the ignite or all the first stick. Feels, feels good, man. I take some more towers. Meanwhile, like the top side chilling out. Wait, what is happening over there? I will find them all. Oh, so they're coming with a surrender. Either way, guys, this is Riven Top Lane with the uh, 
crit driven build. Either way, thank you for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.